Hello everyone, my name is Pixorifs. There comes a time in every Minecraft YouTuber's career when they realise they've made a functional toilet design in Minecraft and they wonder, should I make a tutorial about this? The answer to that today is yes. This is my toilet design and I really like it. It's actually aesthetically pleasing as well as being fully functional. It's got a two-stage flush mechanism and I'll grab some coarse dirt out of my inventory to show you how it works. Throw that in there, it gets put into this dispenser back here. Pull the lever once it gets flushed into the mechanism, pull it a second time. You hear that hiss? That is the block being destroyed for good. So this is <laughs> a fully functional toilet and I'm going to show you how to build it. So this design is pretty compact, it only requires a 2x4 space in which to build it. I recommend putting the lava source block several blocks down if you can. I'm in a super flat world so I can't dig down further than this bedrock, but I do recommend putting the lava source block away from any wood or anything that it's going to burn up. So put the lava source block down there. For the rest of the design you will need a dispenser, a dropper, three hoppers, an iron trapdoor, a lever, two redstone and a couple of building blocks. You want to start off by placing a dropper over here facing into the lava block like that. You don't want that to be a dispenser because in case you flush a bucket of water down there, the dispenser is going to dispense the water out onto the lava and turn it into obsidian. So that is not what you want. Come back up here, place a hopper facing into the dropper, put another hopper on top of that and then a dispenser on top of that there. Then you can just fill in this wall with whatever wall block you're using. Put a lever on it here, put an iron trap door next to that and put your final hopper facing into this dispenser. The dispenser isn't technically required, you could use a dropper or anything else that can transport items, but I like the way it looks because the U-bend of the hopper connects with the dispenser pretty well. So that works, you can open it up like that and then the last thing you want to do is put an iron block there, an iron block there or whatever building blocks you're using and then place redstone dust on it like that. You'll see that will activate the dropper there and that will fire the items into the lava. You can cover that up and make sure that nothing can fall into the lava except the blocks you're flushing down here and then it's a two-stage flush mechanism so if you throw something into there it's going to come into the dispenser here so if you accidentally throw something in there then you can always reclaim it. Next up you pull the lever it closes the lid of the toilet and the item is no longer in this dispenser, it has transferred into the dropper down here. So there is still a last emergency chance to reclaim it just in case you didn't intend to flush that. Open up the lid again, you hear the hiss, the lava is destroying the block and that block is gone for good. Now you can leave the toilet seat up or down depending on, you know, whether you want to be respectful to the ladies and... <laughs> The whole thing works pretty well, I think. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. My name has been Pixel Riffs. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorials in future. And I will see you guys soon. Bye for now.